Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be so much fun because I'm going to be showing you a couple of items that I got to incorporate into my spring and summer wardrobe. So you know if you've been in this channel for a while that I am about buying less pieces but investing more in quality things because at the end of the day what we want to end up is with a beautiful capsule wardrobe of items that we absolutely adore that every time that we have no idea what to wear we can always go back into the closet and every single piece in that closet we love and it's matchable one with the other. So with a few pieces we're going to be able to create endless outfits. It's it's all about investing in those quality pieces that will carry you throughout the season and will prove its versatility during that time. It's not about going and buying the first thing that you see out that you like, that you think is cute. No, we're not going to do that. We are saving our money and we are investing it in things that are going to last us for a very, very long time and that we can transition from season to season. If this is the first time that you see one of my videos, first of all, welcome. My name is Maria Teresa. I usually make videos about luxury designer items, shoes, handbags, and styling. Today, I have three new luxury items that I have added to my wardrobe. I'm going to show them to you and then I'm going to explain to you why I got each one of them. And this is my new bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in bicolor. So this is a taupe, beigey, pinkish blush color up here. And this is a beige color. And I love this color because it just goes with anything and everything that is neutral. And the camels, the browns, all the tonal beiges, white, denim. This will look beautiful with denim on denim. I think this is a perfect option for spring and summer. I went and I decided to put... I wanted, to look, I wanted it to look extra girly, so I added this Louis Vuitton handkerchief on the top. It's so beautiful. I think it makes it super feminine. And then also at the same time, it protects the handle. The bag is quite spacious. Let me show you. Here it opens up with this um, clasp. And inside, it's made out of a fabric and it has three very big compartments. I'm going to show you shortly how much fits into the bag, but it's very spacious. And then in the back, it has this zipper, which for me, I think that this back pocket is very useful because I can put my ID in here. And that way, every time I need an ID or something, I don't need to go and rummage through my bag. I usually feel a little bit guilty when I'm buying Louis Vuitton bags, so I don't buy that many of them because it really like destroys me inside to know that I am paying money for canvas, not leather, canvas. So this bag, it's 100% leather everywhere. So I actually feel that I am getting my money's worth. And at the end of the day, when I take the amount this bag costs and I divide it by the amount of days that I'm going to be wearing it, it, the cost is really so low. So I really thought that it was a really good investment piece and it's a classic bag that will never go out of style. And this bag is part of the Louis Vuitton Spring Summer 2019 collection. It's beautiful, it's girly, it's so feminine. I, It's so feminine, but at the same time, so practical. It's also super cool that it comes with this very long strap. It's quite a long strap and you can adjust it to different levels. So if you want it to be longer, if you want it to be shorter, you can do that as well. I wanted to invest in a pair of flats that are going to last me years and years and years and years and it doesn't matter how much I beat them up, they are always going to stay like that. Yes, they're a little bit more expensive than what I like to spend in a pair of flats, but I think that it's worth it. So are you ready? These are my new 
flat for spring and summer. So it's the traditional canvas for Louis Vuitton. I know that it doesn't matter what I do to this flats, they are always going to stay looking like this. There is no turning dark of this leather. Plus, the thing is also that in the summer, look how cool they are. They have this the padlock here and I think that just adds a little bit of extra, you know, detail on the sandal that is very very simple. I can easily wear this with dresses, shorts, mini skirts and it's going to look super pretty and also I have a couple of Louis Vuitton um, handbags that I've had forever. I think I inherited those bags from my mom with the um, traditional canvas and I didn't have any shoes for them. I mean, I mean like matchy matchy shoes. I didn't have any matchy matchy shoes with them. So now I have these and uh, yeah, they look really nice on and they are really, really comfy. This is a gorgeous pair of Jamvito Rossi pumps in a beautiful taupe color. Let me ask you girls something. Actually, let me give you a pro tip. Attention ladies, do you wanna look taller, thinner, with long, lean looking legs? If your answer to any of these three questions was yes, then just buy a pair of nude heels. It's that simple. And let me explain to you why you need to invest in a pair or two of nude heels pronto. Look for a nude shoe that matches the skin color on your legs. There are so many shades of nudes, so make sure that you look for that perfect match. Look for a closed toe style shoe because this will give you more wearability in the warmer and the cooler months. If you go for a style that has that extra platform, that also will be great because then it will also give you that extra height. A major benefit about owning nude shoes, aside from the fact that they make your legs look super long, is that they go with everything in your wardrobe. I like to think about it, it's just like being barefoot, but with some height. Nude pumps are my favorite type of shoe to wear. I own more than eight or nine pairs of nude pumps. I have them in suede, I have them in natural leather, I have them in vernis. I wear them with dresses to go out at night, mini skirts, pants during the day, jeans. I love, love, love to wear them with a white crisp shirt and some jeans and you throw on nude pumps and it's just, those are just two closet staples that go so well together. A beautiful pair of nude pumps, just basic denim jeans and then obviously a white crisp shirt. For example, a white crisp shirt like this one there is nothing a white shirt can't do for you. Whether you're out for a relaxed Sunday out to brunch, or if you want to bring the fears to work, a crisp white dress shirt has got you covered. The simplicity of a white dress shirt or a nude pair of pumps makes it such a foolproof option when you just can't decide what to wear. White dress shirts and nude pumps make me think about Princess Diana, French girls, and you. if you also see every time celebrities have to do red carpet events, you see that they're wearing nude pumps, it's because those nude pumps are making their legs look never ending, so long, so classy, so clean. Everything just looks so clean and just so well put together. I want to talk to you about the ergonomics of a pump. Uh, any color pump, but since we're talking about a nude pump, now we're gonna talk about the ergonomics of this nude pump. So this is a Gianvito Rossi. This is made 100% handmade in Italy with goat skin leather. So this is um, suede and the inside of the shoe, this is the insole. This is also 100% leather. The outsole, which is the outer part of the shoe, is 100% leather. The sole of the shoe, this is 100% leather. What does this mean? This means that your foot, when it's in there, is very breathable. Your foot is going to be able to breathe. It's not going to sweat. Most of the shoes that you're going to find in the stores 
In essence, those are one of the key characteristics of a designer shoe versus an Aldo or, you know, just a, a, a lower quality shoe. The characteristics of a designer shoe are not only a beautiful design, but that only the highest quality materials are used to make that shoe and make it last a really long time. So let's say that you go and you buy a pair of shoes like in an Aldo or in any of the brands that sell like lower price shoes. What they do is that they, if you read the label inside, it will say man-made materials or they're going to try to trick you. If you read in the inside label of any of these uh, lower end shoes, it's going to say real leather upper man-made insole then it's going to say synthetic lining and sock that means that the lining inside it's made of pu leather which is plastic and this is what causes your foot to sweat and this is also what causes between your toes it cracks if your toes ever crack in between and like that kind of opens up and it kind of hurts sometimes that's because your foot cannot breathe inside a shoe that is made with you know pu leather that means the inside is plastic your foot cannot breathe you're going to sweat if you wear that shoe for a very long time your toes are going to crack in between and yes it's a shoe that's gonna last you a long time but it's not going to be the most hygienic thing to wear all the time i'm not saying for you to go and spend you know six seven hundred dollars in a pair of designer shoes by me telling you this by no means i'm telling you to go and buy designer shoes i'm trying to educate you on why designer shoes are so expensive in this country um and it's because the design yes but most of all is that the materials that a designer shoe is made with is just the best leather it's leather material outside it's leather lining it's leather sole aside from you having fun with me today because i know i had a lot of fun filming this video for you guys i hope that you learned something valuable from this video as for all my videos i will leave the links of all the items that i showed you in the description box below please remember that i'm going to be posting three times a week on tuesdays thursdays and sundays if you like this kind of video please consider subscribing and i will see you guys in my next video Bye! Ooh. Ay, a menina! A menina moça! Venga, menina, venga! A menina minha! A menina minha! Era a menina minha que me acompanhou até a minha mami do video! Que acompanhou a mami do, do video! Ay, menina! Parece que você é uma louca, menina! Ah, uh, yeah! This is what I look like at the end of a video. A, a, a little bit all over the place, not so well put together. But ha, these are the part of the videos that you guys never